So today is the start of my bus rebuild. A lot of people got here yesterday, and the day before that, a woman named Diane showed up in this beautiful bus that she built totally herself. And as soon as I saw it, I asked her if she would take charge of the project, because obviously she's a great carpenter, and she's got organizational skills, and I hope I made the right choice. I guess we'll find out soon, won't we? Diane and I made a plan, and she drew up a list, and then Kat and I went to buy all the wood yesterday. Part of the plan is we're gonna use a lot of things I already had, things that came from the stuff that got wrecked. Partly to keep the cost down, but mostly because I just love, I love that stuff. So it's gonna be fun to see it live on. Everything is out of the bus, and it's either under the tent or over here in the middle, and I'm gonna be roughing it for a while. I even have a porta potty set up out here because the bus is gonna be full of people. I'm pretty nervous. I hope everybody gets along. Day breaks in a single man With one hammer and two hands He begins with an nailing plate Steel pushing through the wood grain And all the racket he makes from this one-man crew Draws another man seeking a bill too Now with four strong arms and one desire Move along in double time Hey brother It's time to put Your hands up Cause we're building a stage To stand on Oh we're building a stage To stand on Frank Fields from Florida Cat and Cat The official Sanders <laughs> That's us Have sandpaper will travel I have nothing else to do so here I am First time in the desert. I came here from Washington. My name is Bob. One member of the crew trying to work a miracle here. My name is Mike Anderson. The deal's going great. My name is Derek. I'm down from Oregon. I'm David Wall. This was empty this morning. so many people in there ever at once. Well, it's the end of the first day of the build, and I think there's even sawdust on my teeth. Words cannot express how happy I am with this bunch of people and with this goofy little dog who won't stop trying to get in my lap right now. And the day breaks again Two men return to where they've been to see a crowd of people gather This is getting almost too exciting. Fun people. It's been a blast so far. Everybody's having fun doing a good job. Are you an expert string maker? I am now, buddy. <laughs> Look at this. Del Taco. I just thought a Del Taco lunch was the least I could do for these guys. I mean, tacos and burritos compared to what they're doing for me. <laughs> De nada. It's I bought this piece in Tucson to replace the sink vanity that got smashed, but I was kind of on the fence about it until these two got hold of it. And they made it absolutely gorgeous. Linseed oil. But it really pops the grain and everything out nice. We might do it like we did the animal. Slip a piece of wood in between the two cavities and screw The old sink vanity had legs that fit right over the wheel well. This one doesn't. 
Mike made a template to cut it so we could fit it right on there. But, and that's not something I could have ever done when I built the bus by myself the first time. I mean, I had a skill saw, even though I didn't know it was a skill saw, and I definitely didn't know how to use it like this. He just cut the shape from the template and then cut a little notch in the side, and the whole thing just kind of fits together like a jigsaw puzzle. It's perfect. Yeah, brother, it's time to put your hands on. In came Brad and Tom. We got some new recruits, which is a very good thing because some of us are pretty tired out, especially Captain. But we keep going. What? Well, they they keep going. It's hard for me to even think about what these guys are doing for me without getting, you know. And Diane. We can use real wood for cleats so we can screw into it. Wow. And when I asked her to run things, she told me she was bossy. And she's bossy, but in this case, it's just the right kind of bossy. I'm so sorry. And I'm telling a man with a hammer this. If she wanted to slide out desk, we finally figured out how to. Got the mother door, huh? All squaring up. Then it happens, the pounding she said, and on the land the structure stands made from thousands of pieces, illuminated, standing strong. break to celebrate New Year's Eve around the campfire and then even though the build was supposed to be over a bunch of people stayed they they finished up some odds and ends inside the bus and then they stayed and we've been camped together ever since I moved back in all the way and I put my own touches on things and I'll give you the full tour eventually but here's what it looks like now I used to be so proud of my bus because I built it myself. Now I'm so proud of it because these amazing people built it for me. And that includes you guys, some of whom were really, really generous. Thank you from the, the bottom of my heart. I wanted to say something less cliched, but that's, that's the best I could come up with. Thank you. If you want to see what the bus looked like in its first version, watch this one.